Hey everybody, we're back out here again working on the crib. And it's uh, another day working on this back panel here. And so what we've done is we've got these all, all these pieces cut out. One thing that we did off camera was um, we cut these side pieces to the correct width that we needed for the whole back piece so they'll fit in between the two posts back there. Uh, so now what we've done is we've marked, there's 25 inches of visible wood in between the bottom rail and the top rail. And the bottom rail, wherever it is, somewhere over here, the bottom rail is, the groove in that is, what was it? A little over half inch. Yeah, a little over half inch. And then the top one was um, three quarters of an inch. Um, so we added that to the overall length of these boards. Um, so that gave us 26 and a quarter. And we uh, lined, we just marked on this side, made a mark there, did the same thing over there. And then we took the arch, so we have the actual arch kind of curvature. Um, and we just lined it up with these marks on the edge and then just drew a line, as you can see, all the way through here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take the jigsaw and cut these little pieces out and then we'll be actually be able to like put the whole back piece together if we wanted to um but then we're going to sand it get all these uh it's i mean it's there's hardly any like lips there like i didn't even feel this one at all but we're just going to sand it down one and, here yeah i mean there's minor things that are like uneven but uh so we're just going to sand it down take some time doing that and make it look real nice so, and I'm sure there's going to be a ton more sanding on this project still to come. So, oh, yeah. we're going to cut it out and get some sanding done. All right. Here we go. Today, we're going to be working on the slats for the crib. Um, and things are really starting to come, up, come together. Uh, I was having issues with the GoPro the other day and we did some more work out here I just wasn't like I had time and I wasn't gonna mess with the GoPro because it was just being finicky uh, so and my computer was too so this I'll just give you a quick update on what we did we got the whole back finished and it looks awesome so we got it setting up over right here oh and I am just super happy with how this has turned out uh, one other thing I didn't get uh, to film was we went up to the in-laws a couple days ago and they have a well yeah they have more tools than I do and so um, they had a drill press that I we were able to use and drilled out these holes for the pegs um, on both sides uh, the drill press didn't have enough travel to go all the way through um, as you can see that there's nothing here drilled through or here and here or here and here I should say but it is on this side so we got a a bit to finish that up and it should be we should be just fine to get those straight because the bit will have to go all the way through there and that'll keep it nice and straight in that hole um, but yeah it looks really good and so we're gonna be cutting out the side slats and the front slats today and uh, hopefully we can finish up those pieces too so we got to cut, cut them to size to the width I should say then to length and then we'll cut the shoulders off of them and get them ready to be fitted together so like I was saying before I was hoping not to be like use any screws or glue or anything like that but um, I'm probably gonna end up using glue on the side pieces since for the back piece like this one and the front piece they are going to stay like this permanently um, but the side pieces they're not gonna have a rail that's gonna anchor them together the top rail and the bottom rails on the sides they're, they're, there's nothing that's going to anchor them together so i'm probably going to use glue in the slots to keep them together that way um, or i could use pins for every single piece but that is very impractical <laughs> and i'm not going to do that Here we go. This is what uh, 
if you remember this board, this board has been really helpful. So if you're going to do a project like this where it involves a slant like this and slats, make this. It makes it so much easier. So um, how we determined the length of the side slats. Now, we predetermined that the length of each slat on the front was going to be 20 inches and so that's the base height and so if you can imagine that this it represents 20 inches right here um, and so to meet the top of this rail um, we had to add a half an inch for this one for this first board one eighth one inch and three eighths for this board two inches and a quarter three inches and one eighth four inches five inches and five inches and seven eighths for the bottom one. Um, now we don't have to add any extra for the tenons because those were already accounted in the original 20 inch length. So we accounted for the tenons in those already. So that's really as easy as it was um, for us to do it with this reference board. Now we will be using this again when we come back to this, make the slats. We're gonna cut the slats at an angle so that they are the proper uh, length inside the holes that we drilled out for them to go into. So, more grindy work ahead. Just I've got the table saw sled set up for uh, cutting these shoulders out of the slats. Um, so it's just gonna be a half an inch notch out of the corners right here. So, you will see it in the video. Uh, but it's super simple just um, if you've got a sled like this just clamp a stop block on here and then go to town because this is going to take a while we have to, have to make four cuts for every single piece of wood and there's 27 boards okay. 27 different boards so it's going to take a while as i said grind 